Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with just about every file you're trying to open up in Microsoft Excel that says that the file couldn't open in protected view. Now keep in mind that, you know, if you're using a bunch of workbooks from online sources, maybe they are malicious, they have bad macros in them perhaps, but assuming that you're just having this issue with just any old random Excel file all of a sudden, well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that by resetting the Trust Center settings. So we're going to do that by opening up Excel, and then you want to select the File tab, go down to the bottom of the sidebar and select Options, select Trust Center on the left side, and then you want to select Trust Center Settings, now you want to go select protected view on the left side and make sure all three of these options are checkmarked where it says enable protected view from files located in potentially unsafe applications as well as for outlook attachments and you also want to go ahead and checkmark underneath security settings for text-based files checkmark that too and then even the final one here for opening database files so keep them all checkmarked select ok select ok again and then once you're done with that, close out of here and see if that has resolved the problem. You can always try doing an office repair here too, which we're going to do. And in order to do that, open up the star menu, type in control panel, best result, should come back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Select programs and features. And then you want to go ahead and select Microsoft Office and select the change button. Select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. And then select quick repair. Fixes most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection. And then select repair. Select repair again. Okay, so this is done repairing. We finished repairing your office programs and features. You can now close this window and use your programs. Click on close. And then I would suggest restarting your computer nonetheless. It didn't prompt us to, but I would recommend doing that. And then hopefully your issues should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.